Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. In this video, I have some channel news. Uh, yesterday, I got an email from YouTube threatening me that if I don't start a members only portion of my channel, that they will not pay me a bonus $500 and then $5 for each new member within the 30 days. And that I have exactly 29 days, 15 hours, 43 minutes and 52 seconds as of right now to do this. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and take them up on that, obviously. And um, now there's no need to worry because you're still, if you don't subscribe to it, if you don't do the membership, it's going to be the same content. I'm not going to be doing the same stuff and putting it members only. So there will be no change to the content that we talk about uh, just regularly on the channel. However, I realized that this would actually be a good opportunity for me to kind of branch out and talk about some other things that are kind of beyond the scope of the channel. Sometimes things come up on the channel that we, I start talking about, but then I say it's beyond the scope. Um, and these things have to do with like, you know, recently we were talking about LDS singles and toxic personalities, for example, narcissism, psychopathy, stuff like that. So I want to do uh, that I also want to probably dive a little bit more into secret combinations because <sighs> secret combinations, <coughs> sorry, secret, <coughs> secret combinations, I, you know, I, you have to be careful uh, when you approach that topic uh, on this platform. And I think there's a way that I can do it. Uh, I feel like if I did it on the main part of the channel, it would probably just be too distracting because my main mission with this channel is simply to watch for the the signs of the times, look at church news, uh, do in-depth dives into different concepts uh, that have to do with the second coming. Also Judaism and also just the church in general. But um, I, I've always felt that looking too much at secret combinations would probably just be too much for the channel. So I'm just going to do stuff like that, stuff that's just kind of tangential. Um, I know that there's a lot of you that have enjoyed that kind of content. So if you want, uh, do the membership and I will be doing videos. Um, I don't know yet how often I'm going to be doing videos, but you will get your money's worth. I, I promise you. When it comes to these topics, the, the two that I just mentioned, th there is no end. <laughs> there is no end to the things that I could say and show you. Uh, in regards to that. So tentatively, we're going to be talking about um, toxic personalities, relationships, secret combinations, and then there might be some other things that come up that I don't feel are as appropriate for the main channel. So uh, again, you won't miss anything that you've been seeing uh, if you don't subscribe uh, or if you don't sign up for the membership. But if you want more, if you want to like talk about other things other than just second coming church news and stuff like that, uh, I will be doing more material covering those other topics. And, you know, you know, why don't I just start up another channel? Well, I actually did. <coughs> I did another channel talking about narcissism, but it just kind of bogged me down a little bit and it would have taken a long time to uh, get monetized. Like when I when I did this channel. I started in August and then it took me till December. Uh, that's when I became monetized for this channel because you have to realize, you have to realize I'm not doing this strictly for money. I'm doing it. Hopefully you can tell that this is something that I purely am interested in. I feel like a lot of what I've done on the channel has been of worth um, to anybody watching. Let me move this. <laughs> It's been of your worth to a lot of you watching, and I, and I know that because many of you have said that you're you're glad that I've done this channel and covered the different topics that I have. So, but at the same time, I can't devote all this time and effort without being compensated for it. Obviously, we only have 24 hours in a day, right? And before I started doing YouTube, my main business was my graphic design business. I'm a freelance graphic designer. I still do that. But YouTube like really took off for me, especially after this last conference, just it, it kind of exploded in a way that I didn't think that it ever could. And I'm excited to see how far this is going to go. I have no idea. Is this channel going to last until the millennium? I, I don't know. Um, 
Is it going to fail before then? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I have to be monetized and get paid for me to be able to do this much work. Some people are not okay with that because they interpret things in a certain way. Um, and I would remind you that the church owns Deseret Book and Siegel Book, which is full of content, books, music, movies, magazines, uh, games, all sorts of things that have to do with the gospel, right? And I don't think that the church would own a store like that because the, the, the concern is like, oh, you're engaging in priestcraft. This is priestcraft. Priestcraft, I've already done a huge video about that. Priestcraft is when you are doing this for not pure reasons. Like maybe you're a narcissist, for example, and you want to look special, you know? You're not getting paid anything, but you love, you love getting that attention and praise from other people. And that's your primary motivation. That would be priestcraft. Uh, if you are like teaching religious things uh, purely for money, which is usually related to narcissism because you want money so you can, um, you know, buy nice clothes, have nice things and show off to people, you know, just how awesome you are. Uh, that would be priestcraft. So it all depends on what's in your heart. And they did a big, long article about this in, um, you know what, I might as well just pull it up I'm talking about it. I kind of hate that I have to like defend myself on this, but there's some people that are just kind of rabid when it comes to this topic. Priest craft. Are LDS content creators committing priest craft? Let's see. Yeah, this is a this is in the <clears throat> let's see. Teaching seminary, uh, perseverance readings, religion, 370, whatever. So I'm gonna open this. Yes, I'm sure that I want to leave YouTube. So I would encourage you to look at this because I've had some people that I've interviewed <clears throat> that were that were worried about monetizing their channel because again there's a rabid group of people out there and I, I I basically know who they are and um their ringleader is all about like oh if you're getting money then it's pre craft priest craft and that's not true according to this it talks about seminary teachers and other content creators that and it has a bunch of quotes Jeffrey R. Holland Spencer W. Kimmel so on and so forth where if you have the right intentions. Um, if you, if you, well, <clears throat> let's see what it's, okay. Elder Spencer W. Kimball, who was then a member of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, gave the best explanation I have heard. Quote, I want our youth never to be taught by mercenaries. Should any of you be teaching in this program merely as an occupation, almost wholly for the compensation then I hope you'll be assigned to one of the other areas. But if your salary is incidental and your grand and magnificent obsession is our children and their growth and development, then I hope you'll be teaching in New York and Michigan and Wisconsin and Utah where my uh, loved children are. <coughs> and then it says, that is the great key for us. Where is our heart? And I hope you believe me when I say that I truly care about this topic and I'm wanting to help others. And I think that I have, I think that I've been able to do research that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do on your own simply because you don't have the time for it or you don't know where to look. So I think I've brought a lot of value and I'm wanting to just help people be aware that the second coming is close and uh, know as much as possible to not be caught unaware and also just like really understand the doctrine and look at what the prophets and apostles have said. So I, I guarantee there's going to be somebody in the comments that's like, no, that's good, peacecraft. And that's fine. I will just block you um, because you are a freak. But um, that's what I'm going to do. 
uh, it, it is now worth it for me to talk about these other topics that some people have expressed interest in because I'll be able to be compensated for it and I can devote more time toward that. Because uh, I've said before, I, I live a busy life. <laughs> I live a very busy life. Okay, if I'm not doing YouTube, then I'm doing graphic design. If I'm not doing that, then I'm doing homesteading. If I'm not doing that, then I'm doing stuff with my family. If I'm not doing that, then we're at the gym working out. Uh, if we're not doing that, then we're like spending time at church activities and st- you, you you know how it is. Like everyone ha- a lot of people have busy lives. And so in order for me to make time for those other topics, it has to be like this. So Um, Okay, that's going to be it for this one. So uh, if you're interested, go ahead and sign up. I'm going to be giving you really good content. It's going to be amazing. And like I said, there is no end to what I have to say about these things. And uh, it's going to be good. So if you haven't already, um, for the regular channel, make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Also, make sure to share it. And I'll talk to you guys later.